At Ascot, here's Peter O'Sullivan. That's it, they're all in. They're under orders for the Sussex, and they're away. Break well, they don't break particularly fast, and Thurius is going to go on. Thurius taking him along now from Rudimentary has gone second, Sykeston over on the far side, Marling's in quite close touch in fourth place, and Thurius has now settled down to a really strong gallop. Thurius going on by about four from Rudimentary, he was about five up on Marling, gap then to Sykeston, behind Sixton on the inside is second set. The back marker is the French challenger, star of Cosine, and a long way behind the remainder, and Thurius passes the five furlong pole, clear of rudimentary in second, Marling third. Then comes second set, four, five, six, and six is Selkirk, seven, Sheikh Albadou waiting in behind him, eight is Star of Kazin, they spring into the straight, they've got three and a half furlongs to run, Thurius is still making it the three-year-old from rudimentary, Marling is poised in third place, then comes Selkirk, then Sixton on the outside, Sheikh Albadou, and second set comes next, and finally Star of Kazin, and it's still Thurius, the leader from rudimentary, Marling coming there very strong, Sheikh Albadou being shaken up. Selkirk's coming there strongly towards the right of the picture now. Rudimentary, Marling and Selkirk. Selkirk's come to take it up from Marling. Second set's putting in the challenge now. But it's Selkirk, the leader, as they race into the closing stages. It's Selkirk with Marling fighting back. Marling is fighting back and going to win it. Marling is going to win it at the line. Marling and Selkirk in a photo. Marling and Selkirk in a photo with second set third. It's a desperately close photo. I think that Marling may have just fought her way back to win by the length of a cigarette paper. If she has, it's very, very close indeed. Selkirk had an undeniable advantage with a hundred yards to run, but Marling would not be denied. She fought and fought and fought and she may have fought her way back to the number one spot. Marling is number eight, Selkirk is number three. See what you think as we see them cross the line again. Well, we knew she was brilliant. Now we know she's incredibly brave. Never travelling quite as well in the race this time. Ran a little bit free. And when Pat's produced her there, she's not produced a brilliant acceleration the way she has in the past. And Selkirk was always going a little bit better. Selkirk eases just across second set there. Walter Swinburne waiting to challenge in the inside. Sheikh Albadou has no room. And the two of them now go clear. Selkirk hits the front inside the final furlong. Marling looks beat. Pat Edery goes for everything. Selkirk's a neck up. Second set running on really well in third place now but too much to do and now Marling showing all the grit you could ask of any racehorse thrust her head in front with 50 yards to go but then Selkirk comes back at her in the lying strides the big one against the small one the big colt against the bravest little filly and it's on the nod again and whose head's got there first it looks like Marling's put her head down on the line to beat Selkirk and second set in one of the great races for the Sussex Day.